Hello all, welcome back to Council Today, She-Hulk, Episode 6. Now I know there's a few of you out there that have asked me several times, why am I still reviewing this show? And the simple answer is, I'm sick and tired of this, well we'll get them on the next hill, only we don't. Because as soon as the woke gets to that hill... We get tired of it. Oh, I don't want to fight here. I don't want to play in the sandbox no more. And we give them that hill too. So, and I may die on this hill alone, but I'm perfectly okay with it. Because I am a She-Hulk fan. I love the character. They have taken a fun, confident, flirty. And I know I've said this before. I know I'm beating a dead horse. But I want to emphasize it. One of the funnest characters in comic books. Not the, but one of. Deadpool definitely is up there. Several others are up there too. But they took one of the first and just made her boring. And after seeing the abomination that was Andor, it's just boring. It wasn't bad. It's just boring. It made me realize what's really going on with all this Disney stuff. I understand it now. More than I have ever before, and I don't know why I haven't thought of it before now, but I digress. This episode, we'll get into that later. This episode, she goes to a wedding and gets drunk and fights Titania. That's it. Now, for those of you that are hoping and have asked to tell you when what episode Daredevil is in, I will do this. I, full, I do not expect to see Daredevil before either the next to the last episode or the last episode because that's the way these shows have been going. They saved the real big cameo to the absolute last. And outside of that, you don't even see Seahawk that much. You, the, They do not pass up an opportunity to run a man down. You have a guy that is immortal. He can't die. Well, He's been married to, I don't know, 15, 20, 20 guys. Now, if if it was anybody else, the guy would have said, don't hate don't hate the player, hate the game. And it, there would have been a joke there, but they can't do that. They had to run this guy down. And the way he's getting out of these marriages, which I thought was actually kind of funny, was he was walking out killing himself. Not not for the right reasons. I did not find it funny for the right reasons. He just didn't want to put up with the bitches so bad he just killed himself. That's what made it funny to me. And they don't they don't even get how just that looks to people. He would rather die than put up with his kids. Anyway. And Jen, Jen is a bridesmaid, the, the, the head bridesmaid in a wedding. That's it. I'm serious. That's, these, these shows are uneventful. And what they are, here we go, what they are, the director and the writers, because they're all women, Jen is their self-insert. Just like whenever you watch any Star Wars You'll see a a brown British woman. That is K case. That's how she sees herself. She is this prim prop, and, and she's more intelligent than anybody else. And there's already one in Andor, and it's K K's insert. That's the same thing that is happening in all of these shows. The the writers, especially the female writers are inserting themselves. They're, they were always the bridesmaid, never the bride. They're, they can't find the right guy. You can go pick from all these guys, but oh my God, they're ew. We want pretty men. But even in this show, pretty men are, at the end of the day, just toxic white males. And that's that's And I understand it so much more better now. And I don't know how to explain it just yet because my mind is just now clicking when it comes to what really is going on with these writers and the reason why these shows are as bad as they are, including Batwoman. 
I, I, it's so much clearer now. You have no idea. And I'm going to figure out how to, to talk about it eventually. Just give me time. And that's all I've got today. Pass this show up. There's absolutely nothing interesting about it. I Come here. I will review it. I will tell you what happens. I will tell you when the Daredevil episode shows up so you can go check out Daredevil. I don't know that I would recommend that because I feel like they're going to ruin it. And I know what they're going to do with him. I, I, I can't say that for 100%, but I have a very, basically, that's going to be She-Hulk's new flame. They're both lawyers. It literally writes itself. It's so simple, and it's just basic bitch, and that's what these people are. I could be wrong. We'll see. I will see you guys in the next video.